breakfast. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you. Oh. We were just having a discussion about your glasses. Were we? Yes. I'm I'd like to have a discussion about your glasses because people wonder why people wear tinted glasses indoors. Oh. Uh, which people? Uh, Here's what I think is interesting is um, when you're promoting something like, you know, a lot of these clothes I'm wearing, they're going to come off and then are going to be returned like uh, to the designer mm. and uh, people send you glasses and I, part of me feels obliged to try to wear every single item. A little part of it is you're out promoting something and there's a certain character, a certain genre of movie mm -hmm. and so you want to um, put your best foot forward. Yeah. So you, you're on loan then? Much of it is. I can tell you the pants are mine, these brown polyester jobs. Here's a little holiday greeting I've been wanting to send to the Mandarin. I just didn't know how to phrase it until now. My name is Tony Stark, and I'm not afraid of you. I know you're a coward. So I've decided that you just died, pal. Why was it so important to you to get the role of Iron Man? Because you have described it as like a fight. You fought everybody off for that. Role. Right. Uh, just because I had a really good feeling about it, and I think there's things in life with, like, you know, relationships or with life paths or stuff like that. To tell you the truth, I felt like, um, I just felt like it would wind up putting me in a position, um, you know, in this industry, in this business, that, um, that would give me more creative freedom. Well, it did that. It did that. I mean, it's extraordinary. You had gone through a period in your life and you talk about life stories and life paths, you had five years where your career could have taken a completely different turn. Yeah. You had the drugs, you had the prison, you had the rehab, and then you pulled it all out of the fire, so to speak. I mean, how did you manage to get from that position to, to this position? It's easy to believe that things are gathering momentum and going into a negative place. I mean, I think human nature can tend to be a little bit uh, critical of itself and of its society and rather than quantifying good times or bad times or highs or lows mm -hmm. I think it's really just about you know we're kind of evolved apes and we think we're a lot smarter than we are but if we survive whatever life throws at us you tend to get opportunities. You signed up for a trilogy originally? Yes. Is there going to be another one? I don't know. There is going to be another Avengers. It's due to start filming next year. Yes. You are involved in that? I don't know. It's not like I want to leave anybody in the lurch or I, I'm not having fun anymore. Okay, so that sounds like you are up for it. Right. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to ascertain? Well, I tell you what I'm trying to ascertain. My kids love Iron Man. We watch, we've watched all of them. And you want, to be able, you want to be able to give them some direct information? I need to tell them right. and the breakfast audience. I understand. Are you coming back? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to get an answer. But I swear to God, it's not that I have an answer that I'm not giving you. It's that I'm just being honest. Most engaging. Very clever. I pronounced the man dead myself. What are the facts? I'll leave this in your capable hands. I have an appointment with Mary. It's not my reputation that's at stake here. What about Sherlock Holmes, the that. other film that you have, you know, repeated the success of? Is Sherlock Holmes 3 on the cards? I want to see Jude Law. Is he in London? I hear he might be. I think he's been talking about it. We need him. I want to talk to him about the... Uh, right now, I think we're working on a good storyline. Does that mean that Sherlock Holmes is going to happen? Well, I can't guarantee it, but I'm telling you that it is my desire. Lovely to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Peace be unto you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.